Hey guys! So I'm trying something new. I have never worn a flat beak hat before. I don't know like if I'm too old for flat beak hats or I don't even know how to wear them. But I won this hat um, on a online radio station contest. Um, called Radio Beyond the Rock. I will leave the website link down below and you guys should check out that radio station. It's really good. But I won this hat and it's from a company for, I think the, yeah, I think the logo is here. Um, it's called Kingdom Coffee. So yeah, maybe I'll leave that company link down below as well. But anyway, um, I like the hat. I've just never worn anything like this before. And like I said, I don't even know how to, so yeah, this may be interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by saying this is a book haul, thrifted book haul. Um, I will add at the end, I will include a few Christmas gifts that I got um, that are bookish. And then, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this thrift haul. It, th this stuff has been sitting here for a while, so I kind of forget what's all even in here which is kind of fun for me as well. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Where to find it in the Bible? The ultimate A to Z resource. So yeah, things forbidden, foreclosure, um, what do we got? Marriage, identity, immorality. So yeah, I think that's kind of a handy thing to have on, a handy thing to have on hand. <laughs> Um, when you're doing like Bible studies and stuff. So, I got A Lion Among Men by Gregory Maguire, uh, author of Wicked and Mirror Mirror, and I've hauled both of those two in separate thrift hauls before. I don't know anything about this one, just simply that the cover looks the same as those other books, so I don't know if it's a series. Oh, hi! Volume 3 in the Wicked Years. There it is. So, just answered my own question there. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to have that and I want to get started on that series. The next one I got is Blood on the Holly. Oh yeah, right. This one I got, well it, it uh, caught my eye because it has my name in the title, but it's Christmas Mysteries featuring members of crime writers of Canada and their friends. So I think it's short story mysteries from Canadian authors. Could be all right. Give that a try next Christmas, maybe. Um, I found Jesus Freaks volume one and two. So that's kind of cool. And they're in like mint condition. This is the, the stories of those who stood for Jesus. Um, uh, yeah, stories of revolu revolutionaries who changed their world. Um, yeah, I think those are really cool. They were written by D the members of DC Talk. I think they're written by it or whatever. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool to find at the thrift store. Like I said, I forget um, that I have a lot of these and I forget what a lot of them are about. So we'll go with this one. House of Furies by Madeline Rue. They come here to die. Ooh, that might have been what intrigued me about this book is like these random illustrations that are like very cool looking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about this, but it's Harper Teen. So if it's teen, I'm hoping that means it's clean. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've picked up Judge by RJ Larson. I have Profit by RJ Larson. I've heard good things about Profit. I haven't read it yet but I saw the, I think this is like the sequel or something. I saw that one, picked it up. The next one is The Painter's Daughter by Julie Clausen. This one, I've read some Julie Clausen before and I've liked it. Sometimes I feel like she gets too, too close to that over-sexualizing non-sexual things like a lot of Christian romance writers struggle with. So we will see how this one goes. Um, I think the thing that really struck me with this one is um, she's an artist and I like to read about painters. So that should be good, I hope. 
The next one is A Powerful Secret by Dr. Kevin Lehman and Jeff Nesbitt. I didn't know that Dr. Kevin Lehman wrote fiction. I knew that he wrote nonfiction. He's got a lot of those. But this one is by Revel Publishing. Uh, so yeah, thought I would give that one a try. I think I'm gonna do a video, hopefully soon, about my thoughts on biblical fiction. I saw these two, I know Mesu Andrews is a very well-loved biblical fiction author. And so I saw these two at the thrift store and I wanna give them a try. Um, but yeah, there is a specific reason why I avoid biblical fiction. So we will see about that. The next one is Diviner by Brian Davis by Zondervan Publishing. I think it's geared for teens. We'll see, we'll see. I find um, you have a better chance of getting a clean book if it's like YA or teen. So that's what I'm kind of hoping. I found books, is this like one and two? Yeah, books one and two, um, The Shadow of Evening, The Power of the Night uh, by Chris Wally. And the reason these ones stuck out to me was here it says a fantasy in the tradition tradition of C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien. You guys know I love both of those authors. So I think I'm looking forward to giving these two a try. Okay, next one, Watcher in the Woods by Robert Luparulo. He is a Christian author. This is book two. I I, uh, oh, this is book two and this is book three. I don't have book one. So, yeah, it's a, I know Robert Luparulo is a Christian author, but I actually have never read anything by him. So this will be a first. I've got The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. This one um, gave me vibes of A Man Called Uva by Frederick Backman, and I don't know anything about this one, but, oh yeah, it sounds kind of kind of interesting. When Harold Fry leaves his house one morning to post a letter with his wife vacuuming upstairs, he has no idea that he is about to walk from one end of the country to the other. So he just, he goes to the mail and doesn't come home. He just keeps walking. <laughs> so I think it sounds kind of like cheeky humor maybe. So that should be interesting. I bet you that's blocking all the light. Sorry about it if it got dark. The next one is The Golden Vial by Thomas Locke. Actually, let's see if we can turn these sideways. I know you can't see all the way down there, but it'll work, I think. Um, Thomas Locke. I have one of his books, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, I know he's a Christian author as well. Um, yeah. If it's a Christian author, Christian publishing house, I'm pretty easy to give it a try, sight unseen. I've got The Spirit Well by Stephen Lawhead was really excited about finding this one at the thrift store because I love the Bright Empires uh, series. This is the third book. I now have books two and three and I'm just gonna see if I can get my hands on the other ones as well. It's a very good science fiction time travel storyline. I got Tricked by Jen Cal Kalanita, Fairy Tale Reform School. I don't remember why I got this one. It could have been the cover looks kind of cool, but things are changing at Fairy Tale Reform School. If you can't become a better person, become a better villain. Rumple Stiltskin, the headmaster of the school. Oh, look, it could have some charm to it. And I've got two Christian nonfiction. I've got Follow Me by David Platt, Introduction by Francis Chan. I love Francis Chan. I've never read anything by David Platt, so this will be interesting. 
and I Am Not But I Know I Am by Louis Giglio and I don't know a lot about Louis Giglio. I know he's friends with Levi Lesko and I like his preaching and his books so I'm looking forward to try some of Louis Giglio's stuff. Until the Dawn by Elizabeth Camden. I think there was um, a, at one point I was at the library. Yeah, it was these books, and they had like a cart by the door, and they were just selling the books on that cart, and they were twenty five cents a book. So it's like really, really hard to say no to twenty five cents per book. So I got this one. Don't really know anything about it. That's all I can tell you. I picked up this one, Grave Consequences by Lisa T. Berggren. I have read one of her books before, didn't care for it, but I have, um, I think I have a couple or one downstairs on my bookshelf yet that I need to get to. And then Murder at the Flamingo, a Van Buren and DeLuca mystery. That should be interesting. This is also, I think all three of these are Christian authors, I think. So those three I got from the library sale. Then I got um, The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bador. I feel like I heard somebody talking about The Looking Glass Wars. Like it sounds familiar, but I don't know who said this or what they said about it. I never know. So anyway, yeah, I picked up this book. It's kind of weird. It's very like stiff. I don't love it and I and I honestly don't love this like metallic thing going on but oh well it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling then I got Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis I got Girl Wash Your Face for Christmas one year and I read it and I liked it enough it wasn't like oh my favorite book ever but I liked it enough so I thought I would give this one a try I wasn't planning on reading that one um, unless I found it at the thrift store, so there it is. I found a cast of stones, the staff and the sword by Patrick W. Carr. Looks like a fantasy Christian author, you know, there's a theme here. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, I found the masterpiece by Francine Rivers. Since I've heard about this book, I wanted to read it and then I would forget about it and then I'd remember, but I would have like a backlog that I'm already into. And then I found it at the thrift store and it's like in very good condition. So that'll be awesome. Let me know if any of you guys have read The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers, cause I like, I like quite a bit of her books. So I have high hopes for that one. The next one is A Curious Tale of the In-Between by Lauren Distaff. Di Stefano. It's something to do about a little girl and her best friend who happens to be a ghost, I think. I don't know. And then I found these two, which are middle grade, I think. Um, they have, it's really neat because like, this is book one, I don't know. This is, it's got like gray paper, and then this next book has blue paper. So like, that's intriguing right off the bat there. By Wayne Thomas Batson. I've heard good things about this author. I don't know anything about this series, but I mean, it looks like pirates. So I'm expecting good adventure stories from that one. I found The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison from the thrift store, which is wild. Um, this one is getting all, all the raves right now. I suspect N.K. Jemisin might not be an author for me, so I'm not going into this with super high hopes, but I mean, I'm willing to try it based on the hype it's getting, so yeah. And that one is a fantasy as well, I think. Um, this one, I don't like these like giant stickers, but at least they come off nice. This one, Death Comes to Pemberley. Okay, so I haven't read Pride and Prejudice yet, but I want to. And after I read Pride and Prejudice, I think this one is meant to be like a kind of a continuation. It's obviously not by the same author or anything, 
but it says the year is 1803. Darcy and Elizabeth have been married for six years, and then it just talks about the family. So, yeah, and then death comes to Pemberley. Is it a mystery as well? I don't know. I'm looking forward to reading that one after I get to Pride and Prejudice. And then I found An Ivy Hill Christmas by Julie Clausen. You guys, I'm pretty sure this book was released in 2020, like just barely, like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, and it was at the thrift store. And like, I know a lot of my booktube friends had read this one over Christmas. So that's kind of a sweet find. And then I've got In the Heart of, a Dark, of the Dark Wood by Bill Coffey. For some reason, um, oh, this one is Thomas Nelson Publishing. But for some reason, this one has caught my eye on Book Outlet a lot, and I just never ended up buying it. And now I found it at the thrift store. That sticker didn't come off so nice. But this one says, let's see if there's a genre on it. it just says teen fiction. Almost two years have passed since 12-year-old Allie Ganderson's beloved mother Mary disappeared into the wild tornado winds. Her body has never been found. And then there's more, but... Um, yeah, I don't know why this one has always piqued my interest, but now I have it, so I'll give it a try. The Rivers Run Dry by Sabella Girello. Also by Thomas Nelson Publishing. There's like a treasure map with a spot of blood on the back, so it sounds or it looks kind of like an adventure, treasure seeking story. Um, yeah, I really, if I can find a book for cheap, I really don't dwell too much on what it's about, as long as it's like either a Christian author, a Christian publishing house or something like that. The next one I found is Island Inferno by Chuck Holton. This is book two. I don't have book one and I've never heard of Chuck Holton before, but I mean, it has island in the title and there's the ocean. So like, I'm sold. I don't know what it's about. Task Force Valor. A deadly explosive, an adventure abroad, a risky rescue. Yeah, sounds, sounds like it could be a fun time. I picked up Flashman and the Mountain of Light by George MacDonald Fraser, Fraser, Fraser. Um, this is unfortunately not book one. I think it's Roman numerals. What's IX? Uh, I don't know my Roman numerals, I forgot it. Um, but anyway, it's that number in the series. But I'm gonna give it a try because unless I'm mistaken and it's a different George MacDonald, um, I really love the Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald, and also I got two of his other books. Um, he, there was a lot of his backlist books at this one thrift store, and I just had to pick, I couldn't get all of them, right? So I just picked this series, which is the Baroness Song, and then this one is, I think it's meant to be like, oh yeah, a companion volume to the Baronet Song. Yeah, so I don't know anything about it. It looks kind of like old timey. I don't know what the writing will be like considering he was an author back in the day. So I've picked up Not By Sight by Kathy Herman. This one also is kind of probably a cover by because <laughs> it looks cool. And her sister couldn't be alive, could she? The little girl she spotted outside a store in Foggy Ridge had to be Riley Jo, her long lost sister. Hmm. Maybe that's a kidnapping story, I don't know. I found this one, Reluctant Runaway by Jill Elizabeth Nelson. Um, this is book two and I do actually have, I think the first one's called The Reluctant Thief? No, Reluctant Burglar. Um, I do have the first one and so I've never heard of this author. I haven't read the first one yet But I saw the second one and I was like, okay Why not? Let's do it Just do it, right? Okay, so I found Wolf Hollow by Lauren Wolk I've, I've heard a little bit about this book 
not a ton so I don't know what to expect but I do know that it is middle grade so yeah I guess we'll just have to wait and see I found 10 famous tales a collection of favorite stories old and new and I just love this old cover like it's just beautiful to me and yeah it's like ooh, this is Alice in Wonderland so I don't know what kind of stories are even in here. Oh yeah, a beaver book from Hamlin, Lewis Carroll, Washington Irving, Hans, Hans Anderson, Brothers Grimm. Okay, so there's a, a whole variety in here. So I think this will be Jack and the Beanstalk. This is gonna be really fun. Uh, I like, I like that. I got this edition of The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R. Tolkien because I don't have this edition yet and I'm collecting all the old ones. This one isn't in the best of shape and it looks like it has some water damage, but uh, yeah, it's part of my collection. Then I found two vintage Agatha Christie's, uh, The Mysterious Affair at Styles and The Golden Ball and Other Stories. So. I'm trying to give Agatha Christie uh, more of a shot this year. So yeah, I guess there, there it is, I guess, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about these books sometimes, guys. I got uh, That Hideous Strength by C.S. Lewis. Like that cover, like again, come on. I was just, I love the vintage, it's so cool. Um, but anyway, it's a C.S. Lewis classic, so of course I'm gonna get it. I found Journey to the Center of the Earth, again, vintage covers, and I don't have this book yet, and I think it might be a fun ride. I did like the movie that came out, I don't know, five, ten years ago. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. I've never read any official Oscar Wilde before. I did read a graphic novel adaptation, um, and I didn't love it, but it, in terms of classics that I've heard of, this one I I actually liked the movie that came out oh, like 20 years ago, 25 years, I don't know, long time ago. And I liked that movie, I should re-watch re it though. So I thought maybe I'd give the book a try at some point. Then I found Arthur from Stephen Lawhead. This is book three of the Pendragon Cycle. I do have books one and two and possibly four. So this was the one I needed. And yeah, I was stoked to find it. So yeah, we got that. I picked up Daniel, which is a, an every man's Bible commentary. I thought that would be good to have on hand when studying the Bible as well. I've got The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. I have uh, The Count of Monte Cristo, which I'm really excited to get into, but I've also heard amazing things about The Three Musketeers, and so far every um, adaptation or stylized version of The Three Musketeers that I've watched, I have enjoyed, so I'm hoping that I like the original as well. Got that. I only have a few more. Um, oh. I already know why I got this one. Look at that cover. Uh, Winter's Tale by Mark Halprin. Halprin? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it looks cool. There's the horse in the stars, constellations. Hi. Oh, a book of the month club featured alternative. Like, as in book of the month, that's like popular still, the same company. Is that? Is that an old company? This is 1983. Huh, well, that'd be interesting. Um, oh guys, I love this. The Rescuers by Marjorie Sharp, a puffin book. This, look at this cover. It is so flippin' adorable, I love it. But I also, my husband and I both really love The Rescuers animated Disney classic I would say. Um, it's a very underrated Disney movie. Actually both of them, they're both really good. And I have a book, like how cool is that? Love it. 
The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I have heard a ton about this one and I've always kind of been kind of interested in what it might be about. So I guess we'll see now that I own it. I found another The Return of the King by J.R. Tolkien. So that's going to add to my Tolkien collection. I've got 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is by Jules Verne, another classic that it went, if and when I'm in the mood for a classic, these would be the ones I would gravitate towards. And then The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Uh, I've watched the movie and I've watched the BBC television series and they're very different. Like the movie and the TV series, they're like not, not very much the same at all. So I'm kind of interested to see what the original story is all about. Oh, okay, so that is my haul for January, I guess. I don't know. And then I will just briefly share with you the three books that I got for Christmas. Um, Chantel at An Intentional Life. Grabbed I Know My Name by C.J. Cook. Um, I know my name, but what if that's the only thing you can remember? Do, do, do. Don't know anything about this. Oh, it's in first person. I'll have to see if I can find an audiobook somewhere. Um, atmospheric, mysterious, intense. I've just woken up. I'm completely alone. I don't know why I'm here. So it sounds like a thriller. So that's cool. I don't usually get brand new books, so it's kind of fun to have a brand new book once in a while. So um, for my birthday, my husband got me Strange Planet because we love the Strange Planet comics. And then so for Christmas, he bought me Stranger Planet. And I'm so excited to have these. I love these comics, they're so cute. Cute and hilarious and cheeky. And then, so excited for this book, you guys have no idea. Also from my husband, look at the gold. I don't know what that's called. What's that called again? I forgot what that's called. But anyway, an encyclopedia of Tolkien, the history and mythology that inspired Tolkien's world. And like just, ah, amazing. I just can't wait to mm, get into this. Like the illustrations are gorgeous. 